Picking up right where we left off from the last video, this is your color selection. So now that you've got your roof line up, you've got your account, you're logged into it, you've got your controller set up, the next thing you wanna do is play with it. So we're gonna hit the menu in the upper left corner, we refer to that as the hamburger menu. And that is where all of your user selectable and accounts, um, setup, help center, all that kind of thing is located. We're gonna explore colors, your top option. It will bring up a color wheel. Wherever you put your finger, your lights will snap to those colors within a second or two. You can play around with different, uh, different brightnesses, different color saturations. You can also use that center diamond to adjust your brightness. If you want to dim that a little bit, we can do that. See it slowly come down. You can add the swatch at the bottom. That'll give you a, a color to remember down that bottom line. So you just added that blue one down there. If we hit the back arrow, that'll take us back to our main groups tab. We're gonna do the hamburger menu again because the second option in there is whites. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be asked for warm white most of the time and then colors for special occasions. So MeshTech did a pretty good job of finding a warm white color, which is kind of challenging for RGB stuff. You also have to remember that this app was designed for use with multiple products, including the MR16s and floodlights and bistros and some of the other things. So that's why there's more whites in here than what these will accurately represent. So if you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see one that says MeshTech Nugget Warm. That is this one. And that is what MeshTech and we believe is the best warm white color you're gonna get. It's gonna be close to your typical mini light and C9 warm white. So we're gonna go back again. I'll show you some more of the color options. There's also the RGB W slider values. If you have someone that has a very particular RGB value color that they want to represent, this is where you'll do that. You'll have a zero to 255 value for each of the three colors. White is not used in this setup, so that one doesn't really matter, but the far right hand one is your brightness. So sometimes you'll get people that have a very particular color value and you can assign it in here with the slider. All right, next up is the effects. We typically use the strip effect. There's a bunch of them in here you can play with, but all of them are going to allow you to pick colors and a speed. Uh, to add a color, you can hit the little plus sign in a circle. If you want to write over a color, you just hit the circle and then change the color to a different one. And on the bottom, touch replace. And that'll take the color that you had and swap it with the new one that you want. When you apply at the bottom, it'll run through and it'll automatically start running that pattern. One of the most popular effects is on the bottom here. It's kind of hard to read in the white puffy smoke, but it says static effect. Static is a single color or colors in a repeating pattern. Uh, we do a lot of repeating candy cane stripes. We're gonna get rid of some of these extra colors. And we'll do, well, this will give you a nice red and white candy cane stripe. So every other bulb will be red, white, red, white, red, white. This number on the bottom here, is a, like a repeat skip pattern. So if we set it to two, it's gonna do red, red, white, white, red, red, white, white, and alternate. So we found that you know when you're doing color patterns like that, it gives you a little bit clearer striping if you use a wider um, number of bulbs as opposed to just one red, one white. It's from a distance that might take on a pink sort of color to it. But anyway, you guys can play with that. I usually leave the speed up all the way on this one so that it does a little bit less flickering. Um, when you apply it, it runs through the color patterns very quickly and then it stops on the solid color. And then it will show you that pattern without any motion or movement. All right, so that's pretty much your color selection uh, where you find your whites, your RGB sliders, and your effects. And in the next video, we'll show you how to schedule.